Hello, my name is Richard Haidt, and I'm the author of The Unbound Soul. And today I am super excited to uh, share an update about Inspirience. I've got the manuscript completed, so I just, uh, and I've got, I've got the introduction actually edited a, a bit, and I wanted to read a little bit of it to you, uh, just to kind of share. So, as I begin, I must confess to an ulterior motive. Beyond teaching meditation, beyond all else, it is my goal to free the reader of the voice within that says, I'm not ready for enlightenment. Consider that every journey begins with a single step. If you take one step right now, then you are well on your way. There is a presence, intelligence, and power so perfect, so loving, that no human words can adequately describe it, and it's within you. With this presence, there is absolutely no judgment or negativity of any sort. There is perfect forgiveness, for there is unconditioned love. Although there is the ability to perceive disharmony, there is no binding, fear, or, or ignorance, only total harmony and understanding. This presence is not limited to you, for it is in everyone and everything. It pervades the entire universe. It is so beautiful and vibrantly harmonious that it transcends any possible conjurings of the mind. When we are in tune with this presence, we realize that there is no other, that all is indivisibly one, and nothing can be done to change that fact. After sufficient contact with this presence, the desire to share it with the world is only natural. For just as this presence resolves your suffering, so too does it resolve the suffering of the world. But to speak of this presence, we need an indicator, a word. As the words Tao, Buddha, God, et al. have taken on so many extraneous associations over time, I have endeavored to come up with a fresh, undefined word that is as free of baggage as absolutely possible. Because this presence simply is, I refer to it as isness. Please be mindful that isness is only an indicator of something deeper. There is nothing sacred in the word. Even to say that the fundamental presence is is incorrect, for it, is bo for it both is and is not simultaneously. Under these conditions, the word isness will have to suffice. Many apologies. Although isness is at the very core of each individual ever born, it seems only a tiny fraction of people throughout history have had a direct conscious awareness of isness. The experience is so inspiring, so mystifying, and so heart-opening that most people are likely to dedicate their, in their lives to the exploration and revelation of it. I am no exception to this formula. By all accounts, a direct conscious experience of isness is awe-fueling and utterly mind-blowing. As an isness experience is so drastically different in nature from all other human experience, I have come up with a new word to indicate it, inspirience. The root terms of inspirience are inspire and, in, and experience. Thank you so much for listening. I'd love to have you as a part of this project, and uh, please check out the new cover we've been working on. Uh, I think it's coming along real nice. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.